matches of the day. And first of all, we have the number three seed in the men's single. Shi Yu Chi, the All England champion, is up against the 2017 European champion, Rajiv Usif of England. Well, our last two matches are uh, both from the top half of the draw, the second quarter. And uh, the winner of the match we're about to watch will play the winner of the match after Shi Uchi against Rajiv Usif. If you were with us earlier, you would have seen Chao Tian Chen come through his match. Number seven seed. And Coelho of Brazil was also through to the third round. That was a bit of an upset. So Usif, the older of the two men. And despite being 31 years of age, I think Russian Usif is playing as well as ever. He's always a dangerous player in a men's singles draw. Shiuchi with both knees strapped. And this is the sixth meeting between the two players. And of the previous five, Shi Chi not only leads, but Shi Chi has won the last three. I hope you had time to digest the last time they met, which was in the first round of the Indonesian Super 1000 event. And it was three games, 21-18 in the deciding game in an hour and two minutes. So he may have won the last three encounters, Shi Chi, but he's had to battle for those victories. Rajus Usif will turn 32 later this month. And uh, whilst his world ranking is currently at 29, he did spend two separate weeks as world number 10. Making his seventh appearance at a world championship, twice reached the last 16 in Paris eight years ago and then again in Glasgow last year where he lost to Lynn Dan, the eventual silver medalist in three games. Well, his first match was against Zvonomir Dorkinjak of Croatia. Two straight games, as you saw. Shi Uchi, 22 years of age, born in Nangtong in Jiangsu province. Did spend one week as world number two, currently three, and he's competing in his second world championships. A year ago in Glasgow, he was the number four seed, but lost in the last 16 to Hong Kong's Wong Wing Ki, who then lost in the quarter-final stage. His first match was against Adam Mendrik of the Czech Republic, and like his opponent, won in two straight games. So Shi Uchi has had a very successful year already this year. Won the India Super 500 events and the All England, the first of the Super 1000 events. Rajiv Usif reached the final of the European Championships. Of course, he was defending champion when he was in the final this year in Huelva in Spain, but lost this year's final to the current world champion, Victor Axelsson of Denmark. There are nine tournaments for Usif already this year, just six for this man. And Chen Yu, and I think that's Sun Jun as well on the coaching bench. Jun, who was involved in that classic World Championship final in 1997 in Glasgow, when Peter Rasmussen won the final. It was about two hours and ten minutes of fantastic Ladies badminton. On the right, Rajit Osef, England. And on my left, Si Yuki, China. Practice are set to serve. Level play. So the former European champion 
Raju Fusif getting this match underway against the number three seed, Shi Uchi. trying to do what no Englishman has ever done in the past, which is to win a World Championship medal in the men's singles discipline. In fact, it's the only discipline out of the five where England has not medaled at the World Championships. Best place of an English men's singles player was way back in 1980 in Jakarta when Ray Stevens reached the quarterfinal before losing to Rudy Hartono, who went on to win gold. That's a good smash from Shi Yu Chi. Withdrew from the recent Thailand Open. The number three seed from China. Well, he was actually the number one seed, but withdrew and seeing both knees strapped, one understands why he withdrew from the event in Bangkok. Peter Jeffrey, England coach, head England coach, doing the right thing, stick to it. Good net exchange. Oh, my goodness, look at that movement. The athletic movement of Shi Yu Chi to play the smash from what we call around the head position. And it's hit now on the backhand side, but you still play the shot with the normal overhead action rather than playing a backhand. He's a tall man, he's Rajiv Usif. And when he uses his height well, he can produce angles like that. Six foot three, one meter ninety.
Oh, yes. Another prime example of him using his height. Peter Jeffrey with the white shirt on. Graham Hurrell, the other coach on the England bench. Judgment. Mm. That looked a nervous shot to make. Sun Jun's classic final in 1997 in Glasgow, but we shouldn't forget the fact that Sun Jun actually won gold two years later in Copenhagen in the men's singles. It's a pity from an English perspective because he read that extremely well. And he was ready and waiting for that. smash from the All England champion. Nine, six. Yeah, been a good lift as well. You can always tell how deep the shuttle is by the player about to play the overhead shot, where their feet are in relation to the back of the court. Oh. Uh, forced to take it late, Yusuf. Super, super play from Lucif. Just guides this cross court. But the big key was taking it early. Married in May last year. Imagine for Lucif to former. England Badminton player Kate Robert Shaw. Just wide. So for the mid game interval with a four point advantage. Xi in Chi from China. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes on those kind of alleys there, so I feel like if you just keep knocking a few more in, then you'll get your chances. Right, yeah, because that's like a 50-50 and we're going far too tight on that margin. Yeah. 
key from me at the front. When we play the up and under, you're having to dig a lot out the back. Because we're hitting into the wind, it's quite difficult when you're late. Yeah. Yeah, so if you can push him in, or flick him deep, push him in, flick him deep, rather than giving him that until you're there first. Well, and he won't have that, he might be here, so you have to wait for him to catch him. Your good rallies have been spot on. More of those, more pitch. Uh, interesting tactics for the use of playing against the drift. Pushing to the back, bringing forward. But you've got to push him to the back first so that he's not on top of the net when he comes forward. Oh, slight stumble there from Usif. Lift is long. Yeah, no real pace on that cross-court angle shot towards the Shi Uchi backhand. There's no pace for him to feed off with his defensive shot. Ah, oh, that's nice from Shi Uchi. where you've got to be careful with the pushes to the back. Got to get it over the head of Xi Uchi. correctly they have been forced into lifting short Shiuchi isn't it desperately trying to sway his body out of the way to give himself the freedom to play the defensive shot That was a miss hit for Lucif. Made the clear very short, I and mean, it was an absolute gift of an opportunity which was grabbed with both hands from Shi Yu Chi. Suddenly decided he was going to play it. Six, 
sub is all 10, 16. Oh, that's a good drop shot. So is that. Goodness me. Good, Raj. 11, 16. First the straight, then the cross court. And Shi Uchi left absolutely stranded. Yeah. That's a good follow up. Save from Shi Uchi. What a good rally. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, it's just wide. It's called just wide. Okay. Well, that couldn't have missed by much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is where we really miss the instant review. in force, of course, today, since the court had to be moved due to liquid dripping down onto the court surface. Oh, it's called a fault. Hai Leng Yen from Vietnam calling a fault on Usif. No, he certainly didn't touch the net. Oh, that's close. Judged to have taken the shuttle before it had crossed over the net. Too close, certainly, for me to call. from Usif. Good character. After being faulted for crossing over the net, very next rally. Still has the courage to push forward. Every shot has been crossed so far. cross-court net shot from Shi Uchi. Played to perfection, forced the short lift, and then the opportunity to play the smash winner. Players. 
Richmond may it a little too tight because he's afraid of Usif at the net. And even so, Usif got faulted that couple of rallies ago. I think that earned him that point because Shiuchi very worried about playing anything loose. Sarah for Lucif. Just when you felt he was on a bit of a roll, putting his opponent under scoreboard pressure. In 23 minutes. My goodness, he had to work hard for that. But he will be very relieved to get that opening game. <笑>然后球给硬一点你看是不是就没有那么高质量了 啊,他就會就就就像一開始的一樣,就就就就。
second game. Love home. Play. Well, the number three seed, Xi Uchi, was pushed all the way in that opening game by the former European champion, Kusif. second game. That's a good retrieval from Shin Chi. Mike Gwyneth from low down on his backhand side played an excellent cross-court net shot. My goodness, what a defensive shot. And follows it up with pinpoint accuracy on the cross-court smash. That is extraordinary. Look at that block, first of all, from Shiuchi. And then the precision on the winning smash. Fabulous. Leaving that actually, wow. Shiu Chi. in trouble when you take it that late in the back of the court. forehand corner and then cross court from the deep backhand corner. 
making Usif twist from side to side and get down low as well, which is always difficult for such a tall athlete. Yeah, well, that's a perfect response. Yusuf winning his Six. second Commonwealth Games individual medal on the Gold Coast earlier this year, bronze medal, so follow up from the silver in Delhi eight years ago. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, that is nigh on perfection. I don't think you'll see better than that. Accuracy and angle. Off the net cord. Just wide, well left. If takes it early like that, he can create such wonderful good angles. hold on that lift, that was good. Fast movement back in court. Gave him the opportunity to create the angle. Oh my goodness, late decision making. Yeah, looked as if he was going to play the smash. Played the disguise drop shot. And three straight points. Really has put him back in contention again. Seemed a long way down at 3-8. reactions from Shiu Chi wasn't the best of return yeah. of serve I have to admit Six. but even so very swift in his reactions and very swift thinking as well to see the gap across court that's perfect straight down the line and a five-point advantage at the mid-game interval He's looking good at the moment, number three seed. Just well, it'll be interesting to see because I certainly didn't understand any of uh, what the Chinese coaches were saying. But from their gestures, I think they were suggesting that from his deep forehand corner, they don't want him to play straight because Usif is then smashing from Usif's round the head position across court and having great success with it. So I think they want Xi Yu Chi from his deep forehand corner to play a couple of cross court. We'll see. Yep, there we go. 
and again. Didn't work, but I think that was a clear instruction. Seven, 11. from the deep forehand corner. Oh, put a vicious spin on that. I'm not surprised it went into the net. Yeah, good follow-up after the straight smash. Saw that his smash was a good one, and the only real option was played back to the net. I think Lucif is right to go for those angles. Spirited look from Yusuf after that rally. He never shows much emotion on court. It's difficult to know what he's thinking. I know he's a big fighter. Oh my goodness, but what do you do against that terrific shot from Chi Uchi? Chi Uchi. Nine point advantage. Make that ten point advantage. In fact, ten of the last twelve points for Chi Uchi. now looking a spent force. Oh, brilliant. Oh, defiance. Well, that's his fighting spirit. Certainly won't give up. This match seems to be beyond him. But look at that, a little moment of magic. I'm not done yet. But he is now just one point away from going out 
of these World Championships because it's a whole host of match point opportunities for the number three seed, Shi Yu Chi. All good. I thought it looked wide, but hardly worth arguing. Yeah. Great sportsmanship shown, as always, from Rajiv Usif as he congratulates Shi Yu Chi on his victory. 21-18, 21-9 in the second game. A match lasting just 40 minutes. And Shi Yu Chi got better and better as the match progressed. Tight opening game. And then really ran away with the second. So safely through to the third round where he will play against the winner of the next match we're about to watch. There we go. Making the fans extremely happy. And the selfies that will be treasured and treasured. So through to the third round. Match clock just rounded up to 41 minutes. Yeah, I thought that was out. Seeing it again, I'm convinced it was out. But he was so far in the lead. One felt it was inevitable he was going to win. 21-18, 21-9 the margin of his victory.